Hello everyone, welcome to Unacademy's channel, right? Uh, our new channel for non-technical preparation, which is by the name Unacademy Engineers Today, right? So today I will be taking an episode or a question or a questionnaire session on the reasoning. So we will be having continuous mock tests in this channel. So please do subscribe to the channel and also do a like our video and also share our video. Okay, so all the questions which I'll be discussing in the class will also consist of superior tricks and I will be giving you guys a one minute to solve each and every question, right? I'll be giving you guys one minute to solve each and every question, okay? So without wasting much time, let us go ahead with our questions for today's class, right? So here is question number one, okay? Yes. Ah. Okay, here is question number one, so you guys can see right question one so this question is on syllogism so let me just change of the color here okay yes yes fine okay chalo, very good right yes so let's go for the this one right so question one is there so this question is on the topic syllogisms this question is on the topic syllogisms okay okay this question is on the topic syllogisms so the statements are all beans are nuggets no nugget is a seed some seeds are kernels right some seeds are kernels so conclusions are some nuggets are kernels no bean is a seed right no bean is a seed so you have a two uh, conclusions over here and you have four options conclusion one follows conclusion two follows conclusion one or two follows both follows so what will be the right answer here guys so I'll be giving you guys one minute to solve this question Right, yes, so let us uh, go ahead with our questionnaire over here. All beans are nuggets, right? Syllogism, very easy question. All beans are nuggets. No nugget is a seed. Some seeds are kernels, right? Some seeds are kernels, right? Yes, so some nuggets are kernels. Can I tell it? May or may not be, right? There is a possibility that this might happen. Right, there is a possibility that this might happen. No bean is a seed, of course. Right, yes, no nugget is a seed. No nugget is a seed, then obviously no bean is a seed. So this is 100% follows. Right, this is 50% follows. So what will be my right answer? My right answer will be option B. Only conclusion 2 follows here. Right, if there was either option, then you could have gone for it. Only when there is 100%, you can tell that conclusion follows. If it is 50% or something, you have to go with the either option or the possibility option. Right, you have to go with the either option or the possibility option. So, uh, option B, conclusion 2 follows will be the right answer. Insert the missing character. So, what goes to be the missing character over here, guys? 29, 49, 79, question mark, 17. Right, what is the uh, missing character here? Thank <laughs> you. 
अच्छा सॉरी आई फोकट ओके सॉरी देव right so the missing character comes from here right 29 49 49 79 70 into 29 right so solve it as a missing series right solve it as a missing series okay solve it as a missing series over here so this i'll write it as right from 70 it has started and obviously this will be the last number right obviously this will be the last number so let's go with this 17 29 49 79 and what will be the next number okay 17 to 29 right 17 to 29 if i take this so this is 12 extra right 29 to 49 this is 20 extra 49 to 79 this is 30 extra right if 30 7 30 extra 12 to 20 this is 18 extra 20 to 30 this is 10 extra right 20 to 30 this goes to be 10 extra okay 12 extra no 17 to 29 yes So what goes to be the next number? So if I see this, seventeen. Seventeen is the number, right? Twenty. So eight extra. Sorry, this is eight extra, not ten extra. Okay, ten. So obviously the next number will be what? Eight, ten, two difference. Twelve will be there because the difference is two, right? So this is called as the successive difference method, right? This is called as the successive difference method where you find the common difference. Once you guys get the common difference, that means the answer is going to be right, right? Once you guys get the common difference, that means the answer you guys will be getting is right. Okay, yes. So thirty plus twelve is forty-two, right? Yes, twelve plus eight twenty, twenty plus ten thirty, thirty plus twelve forty-two. So the answer goes to be seventy-nine plus forty-two. Right? Answer goes to be seventy-nine plus forty-two. Seventy plus forty is one ten. One ten plus eleven, one twenty-one. Right? Yes. You have the option. See here. Right? So one twenty-one will be the right answer. Okay? So take it as series. Solve it as series. Go by the successive difference method. Always, you guys will end up getting the right answer. But yes, sometimes the uh, steps might be very much uh, true sum because. This was a sum where we got the answer within just two to three steps. Sometimes for finding the common difference, you guys have to go for six to seven steps. By the time you guys will be tired in the exam, so sometimes it is best to find the pattern also. But if you go by the successive difference method, always you guys will end up getting the right answer. Let's see the next one. E J H question mark O R. So what is going to be the number which is missing here? What is going to be the number which is missing here? Okay. Yes. Still have eleven seconds. Right. Yes. So let's write this. So it is E J O T Y. So what is this? Whenever. right you guys get a uh, alphabet series or something i always give you guys two acronyms to remember it is v q l g b 
and ej oty right if you are following a to z order it is ej oty if you are following z to a order it is vqlgb right what is this this is the numbering of letters right the fifth letter of the alphabet is e when reverse it is v the tenth letter of the alphabet from a to z is z reverse is q right similarly 15th it is a to z o z to a will be l and 20th letter of the alphabet a to z is t z to a will be g and 25th letter of the alphabet a to z will be y and z to a will be b now let us go this let us write it okay let us write this particular question e h j question mark o r so write these letters according to their positions so this is 5 so it is e f h g h i j k so h is 8 uh, j is a 10 o is a 15 and r is 18 right r goes to be 18 because o p q r s t so r is 18 so yes so now let us apply our series method here that is the successor difference method so e to h 5 to 8 3 is the difference 8 to 10 2 is the difference right 5 to 18 3 is the difference right 5 to 18 i am getting this as 3 is the difference right yes 15 to 18 3 is the difference i am getting so i should get one more difference here and one more difference here right yes so z to question mark one difference and question mark to o one difference so you can see three two three is there so obviously this missing will be what so the number is a cyclic rotation right so it is three two three two three two right so it is going like this yes or no right it is going like this three two three two three two because three is the end we have got three at the end so obviously this goes to be three two three two three two three two is there so 10 plus 3 is a 13 right the 13th letter of the alpha, uh, english alphabet is m m n o 13 14 15 right yes you have m here so m goes to be the missing letter because if you see 13 plus 2 is 15 right 10 plus 3 is 13 13 plus 2 is 15 that is o right so the missing letter has to be o the 13th letter of the alphabet right yes let's go to the next question complete the following series of numbers 16 8 8 12 24 question mark so what is going to be the answer please do give me right yes so let's go with this right very beautiful series it is right 16 8 8 12 24 question mark so obviously can i use success from that yes because you can see a series over here 6 to 8 plus 8 is there 8 to 8 it is 0 8 to 12 plus 4 and 12 to 24 plus 12 is there right i'm getting this as plus 12 okay yes so 8 to 0 8 0 to 4 4 4 to 12 8 so obviously the next number will be what <coughs> right if you see here the next number has to be 8 right next number has to be 8 okay this next number has to be 8 so next number has to be 4 sorry <coughs> next number has to be 4 so 12 plus 4 is 16 right yes so 24 plus 60 it has to be 40 right sir aapka method to gadbad ho gaya option right so if you don't find the option then obviously you have to look for the pattern right then obviously you have to look for the pattern so now let us go ahead and look for the pattern here right now let us go ahead and look for the pattern here there is a pattern still right yes 16 divided by 2 8 right 8 into 1 8 ones are 8 now 8 8 divided by 2 to nahi hoga either right 8 divided by 2 to nahi hoga yes 4 is there so 12 into 2 is there 
या ट्वेल्व इंटू टू सिक्सटीन डिवाइडेड बाई टू ओके एट और ट्वेल्व से डिवाइड नहीं होगा सो एट ट्वेल्व इज देर सो आई थिंक दिस इज एन अल्टरनेट सीरीज वी आर लुकिंग अहेड हियर राइट दिस इज अल्टरनेट सीरीज सिक्सटीन एट ट्वेंटी फोर एंड एट एंड ट्वेल्व नहीं एट एंड ट्वेल्व भी नहीं बने सिक्सटीन एट ठीक है एट टू जा एट थ्री जा फोर टू जा फोर थ्री जा यस आई एम आई गॉट ए पैटर्न राइट यस सो यू कैन सी हियर राइट यस सो दिस इज एट टू जा एट थ्री जा एंड दिस इज फोर टू जा फोर थ्री जा राइट सो द नेक्स्ट पैटर्न इज देयर सो फोर फोर जा टू थ्री फोर फोर जा नहीं वो भी तो नहीं बन रहा हाँ वो भी तो नहीं बन रहा बिकॉज दैट नेक्स्ट वन राइट दिस कैन भी अल्टरनेट सीरीज बिकॉज दिस इज अ बिगर नंबर की बनो हियर राइट एंड एवरी थिंग इज अ मल्टीपल ऑफ फोर सो यू कैन गो विद दैट ऑल्सो राइट एक्सेप्ट सिक्सटी टू राइट एवरी थिंग इज अ मल्टीपल ऑफ फोर राइट यस सो लेट्स लुक एट द पैटर्न ऑफ हियर सिक्सटीन इंटू हाफ ओके सो लेट सी राइट यस सिक्सटीन इंटू हाफ इज एट एट इंटू वन इज एट एट इंटू वन पॉइंट फाइव दैट इज थ्री बाई टू एट इंटू वन बाई फोर इज दिस ट्वेल्व टू जार ट्वेंटी फोर सो दिस गोज टू बी ट्वेंटी फोर इंटू टू पॉइंट फाइव एट दिस गोज टू बी वॉट ट्वेंटी फोर इंटू टू पॉइंट फाइव सो इट इज फोर्टी एट प्लस ट्वेल्व फोर्टी एट प्लस ट्वेल्व द आंसर गोज टू बी सिक्सटी राइट यस सो यस इफ यू गो बाय द सक्सेसिव डिफरेंस राइट टू थ्री टाइम्स इफ यू जस्ट रीलोकेट बिकॉज इवन आई डिट नॉट नो द पैटर्न ओवर हियर टू थ्री टाइम्स इफ यू जस्ट रीलोकेट यू गैस विल एंड अप गेटिंग द राइट आंसर राइट You guys will end up getting the right answer. So C is the right answer. Next one. Vienna is to Austria dash is to dash. Okay. Vienna is to Austria dash is to dash. अच्छा. Timer देना भूल जाता हूँ मैं. right so if you see here vienna is the capital right yes vienna is the capital of austria vienna is the capital of austria similarly budapest is the capital of hungary right so this is the capital and the state this is the capital and the state for argentina the capital goes to be buenos aires yes buenos aires is the capital paris and rome ulta it is given and this is also ulta right yes it should be a is to b <coughs> is to c is to d right the capital of vienna is austria and the capital of hungary is budapest right so the capital of austria is Hung uh, vienna right so see here so it is capital is to state ho raha hai na right so if you see hungary is also a state right and the capital of hungary is budapest right the capital of hungary is budapest right so buenos aires this is wrong and this is given ulta this is given as b is to a right paris it is wrong right yes and it is also b is to a so a will be the right answer okay a is going to be the right answer next question statement the old order changed yielding place to new conclusions change is the law of nature discard old ideas because they are old so which conclusion follows over here which conclusion follows over here
राइट चलो द ओल्ड ऑर्डर चेंज यूडिंग प्लेस टू न्यू राइट चेंज इज द लॉ ऑफ नेचर डिस्कार्ड ओल्ड आइडियाज हैव आई गिवन दिस डिस्कार्ड ओल्ड आइडियाज वॉट डज डिस्कार्ड मीन कैंसिल राइट वी आर नॉट एट ऑल टॉकिंग अबाउट ओल्ड आइडियाज ही राइट द ओल्ड ऑर्डर चेंज द यूडिंग प्लेस टू न्यू राइट येस चेंज इट कीप्स ऑन हैपनिंग राइट बिकॉज दे आर ओल्ड यू कैन नॉट डिस्कार्ड द ओल्ड आइडियाज the statement here is given as old order changes the yielding place to new it is not like it is not given the old idea was old or it was cancelled right the yielding place was changed to new that's it right the statement is similar here right the statement is simple here so change is the law of nature yes so whatever is old you have to change it to new it is not because it is old or something and something is old idea if it is running if it is profitable then run it you can't cancel it okay so this is what conclusion 2 becomes an assumption you know Conclusion two is what conclusion two becomes an assumption. So option A will be the right answer. Change is the law of nature. Next one, P R U X Z C F H K N P S V W A, which is going to be the odd one out. Which is going to be the odd one out. Okay, yes. okay is yes. p r u so let us go with this so this is x y z a b c right yes so it is 1 and 2 if you go this n o p q r s so 1 2 okay f g h i j k right 1 and 2 so it is v t u v v w x y z a so there is nothing zero and three right so which is the odd one out v d goes to be the odd one out which is the option odd one out d goes to be the odd one out it is just the arrangement of the words here right it is just the arrangement of the words here so which goes to be the odd one out acha so nps is also following the rule right fhk is also following the rule xz is also following the rule pru we had to see so pru i have not Uh, mentioned it but yes if you see in the four options this one only pr you don't have to check because that option is only not given so if you see also it is p q r s t u okay p q r s t u right yes so d goes to be the right answer next one how many squares are there in the following figure how many squares are there in the following figure you guys have to tell squares square is one block into one block or two block into two block that is what we call it as square Three seven four Yes, so let's go ahead with this, right? How many squares? So this is going to be square number one, right? I can't take the complete square here because that will be two into one. Square is always one block into one block, right? So one square over here, and this is another square two. This is another square three, right? I got three squares. Now this is another square four, right? This goes to be another square four, and the biggest square over here. right this biggest square we did not uh, count it so this goes to be how much this goes to be five squares right yes five squares are done okay 
five squares are done precisely now after five squares are done so let us see ahead let us see whether i'll be getting any more squares because a rectangle is not asked they have asked just the square right they have asked just the square okay so once that is done uh, this is also a square okay yes this also be a square so it is six right this is also a square right yes if i open it out if i open this out and see right if i open this out and see ye ulta hai right so open this out and see this is also a square right if you open this out and see this is also a square so this is 6 and i got one more right this one right yes this is also a square yes or no guys right just open it out and see right it looks like a square square means all the sides are equal right square means all the sides are equal square means all the sides are equal so okay so i did not take the full one here this one i have to okay so please don't ever get confused right this one i have to this square i have not took not the full square full square is not a square okay so if i write this so this is 1 this goes to be 2 this goes to be 3 the full one goes to be 4 right and this one it goes to be 5 right this one it goes to be 6 and this whole it goes to be 7 right 1 plus this whole goes to be 7 so yes maximum option is given as 7 so we will say how many squares the maximum number of options satisfies here so there are 7 squares in the figure right maximum number of options satisfies here so there are 7 squares in the figure chalo the last question of the class okay a question on blood relations p is the son of z h is the wife of the only son of z y is the daughter of p R is married to Y. How is P related to R? How is P related to R? चलो. okay yes p is the son of z so first i will write z and z has a son p what is the gender of p so in blood relations there is one rule we have to follow always only the relation determines the gender the name doesn't determine the gender only the relation determines the gender what is the relation son mother father brother this is what is the relation so p is the son of z so the son is male right son is male h is the wife of the only son of z H is the wife of the only son of Z. So there is son, and there is only son. Only son means there is only one son of Z. One son of Z is P, and H goes to be the wife of P. Right? H goes to be the wife of P. Y is the daughter of P. Y goes to be the daughter of P. Y is the daughter of P. R is married to Y. R is married to Y. So who is married to a female? A male. Right? R is married to Y. how is p related to r how is p related to r so p has a daughter daughter's husband so r will be the son in law okay and p will be the father in law because male both are male here r is the son in law p goes to be the father in law right there is only father in law here so option b is the right answer and how is p related to r is what they are asking so what is p to r right for r p will be wife's father for r p will be wife's father so father in law for p r will be daughter's husband son in law so it is father in law b is the right answer okay so that's it from the class now guys so i will stop my session over here i'll stop my session over here so we will meet again in the next class right every alternate days you guys will have my classes every alternate days you people will have my classes at the timing of 8:30 pm so it will be a short class of just half an hour where we'll be doing around 9 to 10 questions every day right we'll be doing around 9 to 10 questions in every session so we will be meeting in the next session so please do like the session 
share the video as well as the uh, session and subscribe to our channel an academy engineer student subscribe to our channel an academy engineer student that's it from the class guys have a great day ahead bye bye tata take care